No change. Every so often somebody comes and checks on him, you know, the nurses and that. Alan! Hi, Queen. Thanks. Do you want something to eat? No, I'm fine, thanks. Be sure. Mm. And should eat, you know. Maybe later. That's not her. You sure? You're pulling some tart off the streets and you ask me if that's my daughter. Thank you for your time, sir. That'll be all. What sort of a girl do you think my daughter is? Uh, we don't need to detain you any further, sir. Come on, Dad, let's go home. My daughter goes missing and you waste my time with that piece of... So if that's not Sarah in there, where is she? Dad, let's go. Where's Sarah? Tell me that. Where's my daughter? What you doing? You shouldn't be here. This is my spot. I just wanted to sit down. Yeah, we're not here, you can't. What's so special about this place? I mean, can't we go and find somewhere else? What? You getting lit with No, I just... Look, I told you once. Get out. <laughs> get out! And if you want to stay for some sort of particular reason. <laughs> what are you doing, you know? That was my head. Good lucky the bottle wasn't made of glass. What's going on, Jimmy? She's in my spot. I didn't mean to be. I, I didn't even know, honest. No one goes in my spot. Nobody's smaller than you, you mean? Look, it's mine, all right? Yeah, yeah. It's sort of from picking somebody your own size. And why should I? Because I'm telling you to. You okay? Yeah. So. I'm Lisa. Sarah. Let's get out of here. Only Jimmy would think this armpit was worth fighting over. All I'm saying is none of this has been easy on Joe. You know, Sarah gone missing the police and everything. He's really upset about it. But he's fine now. I mean, he's better. You don't have to protect him. Oh, I don't know. If I told him all that happened to Robbie, I don't know what he'd do. He won't do anything. Why should he? Look, Ted gave Robbie a good smack. You had it coming. I think you're overreacting. And what? It's done. I don't want to talk about no, it. No, I bet you don't. Using your fists and boots is more effective, isn't it? Just leave it, Lorraine. I'm telling you. You just don't see it, do you? You think giving somebody a good smack is OK, don't you? If they've done something wrong, yeah. And it doesn't matter who it is? No. If they've got it coming, you're going to give it to them? That's right. And what if it was me? Oh, I'm going. I need some fresh air. Lorraine, come back! Oh, what? Is that all you've got? Yeah. No clothes, no valuables, nothing. No, just this. <laughs> Whenever you left, you left in a hurry, didn't you? What happened? Boyfriend knocked you up, did he? Or did your dad slap you around? Maybe your dad knocked you up. Of course not. It happens. Yes, perhaps. Believe me. You know, it's funny. I used to think I could make a difference. Sorry. You know, help. <laughs> you reckon? What made you think that? I don't know. I, I just thought... You can't do anything. Don't waste your time. You really think so? I know. Listen, you can't be one of those sad types who think everything would be comfy and safe and cosy if only we'd learn to be nicer to each other. You won't get anywhere if you think like that. Isn't there anybody you can call? No. No friends? Nothing? There is someone, but it's hard. He's. I don't really want to, you know, upset him. Yeah. I can see it's not like an emergency or anything. You hungry? I'm starving. Right. Well, we better get some food then, haven't we? Well, I haven't got any money, just a few coins. So? I'll be off then, shall I? Do whatever you want. Is there anything I can get you? Nope. Right then. I think all this is my fault, don't you? Let's not get this, Dad. You do, don't you? Dad. Come on, what's the matter? It's what you think. This isn't helping, is it? Go and say it. 
If I'd have been a better father, Sarah wouldn't have run away. You don't know that. Say it. Say the words. I'm not going to fight with you. Say it, damn it! What's the matter with you? Would you stand up to me? Just for once, be a man. A man? Is that what you were being when you threw Robbie down the stairs? Now we're getting That's there. your idea of being a good father, is it? That rat face get raped my daughter. Might have. You don't know that, but why wait to find out? Nobody harms my kids. Oh, look again, Dad. What do you mean? Sarah, me. You've done more harm than anybody. All my life, when something good come along, it was always, what'll Dad do when he finds out? You spoil everything. Do I wish Sarah had come to you instead of running away? Well, of course I do. I don't want her out there lost. But am I surprised she didn't? Uh, because I know right now she'd rather be anywhere than be with you. She knows you. She knew what you'd do. Just make things worse. You always have that. I've worked hard to raise you and Sarah on my own. I had a business to run and kids to raise and it was hard. But I did it the best I could. I raised you the best I could. And when it was time to let you go, I did. And that was the hardest of all. What do you do? You deal in drugs. You knock up some barmaid and then shack up with another bloke, and that's for Sarah. It's our lives, ours, not yours to give. I'm not surprised Sarah didn't come to you. She don't know who you are. You're a stranger. I'm her father and I love her. Do you? And how can she know that? Because you got Robbie for her. I'm sorry, Dad. It just don't work like that. Right? I thought you'd be in the Vic, you think Good Friday or anything? Nothing like a major religious festival for people who wanted to get a few beers down their neck. You all right? What is it? Is it Joe or something? Uh, no, Joe's fine. What then? Oh, I don't know. It's all this business with Ted and Robbie. I mean, how could you do that? What is he, an animal? You mustn't judge Ted too much. I mean, if Robbie did do that to Sarah... If? That's the point, though, isn't it? But it doesn't matter now, because Judge Ted has decided he's jury and executioner too. Yeah, I know, but she is his daughter, Lorraine. Well, that doesn't give him the right no, to do that. No, not the right, no, but... Well, you wouldn't behave like that, would you? I remember what it felt like, what I felt like, when I found out that Debbie's first husband had knocked her about. I wanted to... I wanted him to hurt. And now, with Claire, if somebody had... I'd just go for them and... Well, you know... you do that? Yeah. If it was Claire or someone I really cared about. Whatever Ted did, he did because of Sarah. And, and it's complicated because up the air says it's wrong, but in here says I'm not so sure. Maybe. Do not judge a man until you've walked a mile in his shoes. That's good. Who told you that? Read it in a fortune cookie. <laughs> there you go. Fresh from the packet. In a couple of hours, when we open up, this place will be heaving. Enjoy the peace while you can. Better? Comfort food. I swear by it. If you're down, get yourself on the outside of some scotch broth. It never fails. Have you ever heard of the Wolf of Christian Fellowship? From time to time. Do you know Alistair? Alistair? Alistair Matthews. He, like, runs it. Yeah, I've heard of him. Were you part of the Fellowship, then? Yeah. Yeah, I was. When I first met Alistair, I was doing some stupid things. And he seemed so... Well, he seemed to know the answers. To know what was needed. Needed? To put a stop to all the mess everything's in. The drugs, the crime. Chaos, he called it. Ungodly chaos. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I've met people like that. And I wanted to be a part of it. And for a while, it, it gave me a purpose. I felt good. I don't think Dad really understood, but I didn't really care. All that mattered was pleasing Alistair. And for a while, he was pleased. And I felt like I'd be longed, I suppose. But then... 
There were certain things that Alistair said that I didn't think were very... Well, I didn't think they were, you know, loving or understanding. Like with Tony. Tony? My brother, you see, he's... Well, it's, it's been really difficult for him, but he's... He, he sort of lives with another bloke. You mean he's gay? Yeah. And what did Alistair say? He said that Tony would be damned. He did, did he? I mean, how could it be like that about Tony, especially when he... when he cheered and lied to all of us? I believed in him. Do you see? I believed in what he said. I did everything for him. And when I went to him for help, for the truth, and he told me that I would go to hell. Me. I mean, he was no better. It was like one rule for him and another for us. Why would he say something like that to you? I told him about this bloke, Robbie, lives in the square. And I, well, we. You had sex? It was awful. Oh, there you are. It's nearly 25 past. I know, I know. I'm busy right now. Well, there's a lot to do. I'm busy. I should go. No, don't. Not yet. Steve, do you think I'm a terrible person? No, Sarah, you're not terrible. So why did Alistair? I mean, I, I thought that through him that I would find God. But I was wrong. He isn't there. And he doesn't exist. No, it's OK. I want to believe. But I can't. How can I when all around is just lies and pain, sorrow? Where is my God? Tell me that. Where is he? Daddy. Haven't you said enough for one day? I was thinking I've probably said too much. Can I? We're gonna have to figure a way of getting through this, you know, without tearing chunks off each other. I know you just want to look out for us. We need to lighten up a bit. Oh, God, what have I done? I used to be out with Dad. I was stealing stuff, and I felt like no one really knew what it was like to be me, you know? What I was thinking, feeling. I met Alistair. And what he said made sense. I felt good. I felt understood. You know, I believed in him, do you see? Now I feel like I've been betrayed. I mean, what if it's all a lie? What are you looking for, Sarah? I don't know. Do you want me to tell you it's not a lie? Yeah. I won't. I can't. You see, I don't know all the answers. But I do believe the answers are there somewhere. That's my faith, mine. So I'm not going to tell you what to believe. Belief isn't something you bolt on like a new wing mirror to help you see things better. It has to be yours. It has to come from inside, from you. But how can it? I mean, how can I have faith when I don't even know God is there anymore? Yeah. Thanks. This isn't just about Ted, is it? No, it isn't. Uh, everything's black and white for Grant. Straightforward, always has been. He doesn't spend time analysing, he, he just acts. No, it's more than that. I used to kid myself that at least we were safe. That he'd protect us, his friends, his family. We were on the inside, we could hide behind him. It's a nice feeling, but it's not like that, is it? He'll lash out at anything if he thinks he's under attack, it don't matter who. It could just as easily be any one of us if we step out of line. You know, I saw him nearly hit Tiffany once. And I asked him today if he'd ever hit me. What did he say? He couldn't answer. No, it's, it's different with you. Do you really think so? We have a few regulars who come to the refuge. I remember one of them, William. He was always getting into trouble. He drank, was always getting into fights, that sort of thing. And a couple of years ago, he began to sort himself out. He stopped drinking, cleaned up his acts. One night he was mugged. He could only have had a few quid. 
They beat him up so badly he died on the pavement before the ambulance could reach him. Next night there were bouquets tied to trees, hand-picked flowers laid on the ground. It was beautiful. There were two kids there, not very old. They'd come to pay their respects. And when they see who I was, I asked why William had died. You know what? I had no idea what to say. I didn't have the words. I felt empty and alone. So we just stood there in silence. Then one of them reached into his pocket and took out a knife. He looked at me, he just threw it away into the bushes. His friend looked at me too, nodded once like he was thanking me and they just walked off into the night. Never seen him again. Do you want to know where God is, Sarah? I think he was in those flowers. He was there when that boy threw away his knife. He's, he's in a gap between what is said and unsaid, between thinking and doing. He's in the pauses, in the gestures, he's in your instincts, Sarah, he's in your heart. What if I look for him? Look, and I listen, and there's nothing there. Hiya. Hi. Are you busy? Well, you wouldn't believe. You could probably do with some help then, eh? Look, Lorraine. Don't. I just want to explain. You can't. But... I just want to say one thing. I'm here with you because I want to be. Because I care about you. But if you ever, ever raise your hand to me, I'll leave you. No second chances. I'll be gone. Is that understood? Okay. Okay. Right, well, let's get Peggy on then, eh? Tall bloke works in the cafe nights, used to live with you. Oh, wait a So, what's going on? What do you mean? Oh, come on, Mum. Well, we'll see. I mean, right now, I want to concentrate on Ludley. Yeah, but you two are getting on better, aren't you? Let's just take it one step at a time, shall we? Yeah, I know, but I thought if you two ah. are getting back together... Oh, this stuff's really hot. Come on, let's get back to the other wondering what's happening to us. Oh. Hi. Thanks for coming. <coughs> you OK? I think so, yeah. Where have you been? I've been really worried about you. I had to get away for a bit. But you're okay. Okay. Is your dad know where you are? You're the only one I've told. You've got to let him know. He will be going spare, Sarah. No, not yet. No, I'm not ready. What about Robbie? Robbie? Is he okay? I don't know. Why was so special about him? Is he why you did a runner? Did something happen? What happened, Sarah? Come on, can you tell me? I sort of... had sex with Robbie. had lied to me and I couldn't talk to dad and, and after I was it felt like I was drowning yeah I know that feeling and the worst thing was was that I thought that you and me we couldn't be friends because of Alistair I thought I'd lost you Are you you cross with me cross cross I'm not cross with you I've been really worried about you. What about Robbie? I don't care about that. All I care about is you. That you're OK, that you're safe. Really? You don't think that I'm a... You know? Oh, don't. Don't think like that, Sarah. <sighs> so, coming on. No, I can't. Not yet. What do you mean? I just don't feel ready to go back and face everybody. 
it won't be as bad as you think, believe me. I'm an expert at these things. Oh, look at this, Ben. <laughs> Another Easter bunny. Happy Easter, Ben. Lots of love from Grandma. Oh. Isn't it cute? Look. Hello? Oh, Ted. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, what about the police? Have they had any luck? Ted, Ted, they made a mistake, that's all. At least they were trying. Yeah, well, of course I'll call you. All right, you take care. Bye. Well? <sighs> Not a word. Why won't she call Phil? She must know how worried we are about her. I hope she's all right. Why did Robbie have to do it? Look, Kath, don't. We don't know he's done anything, not for sure. But she was in such a state, though. Yeah, okay, but we don't know what really happened, do we? Maybe she just needs some time to herself. Most teenagers go through it. I hope you're right. I so hope you're right. You okay? Next service isn't for another hour. I'm not coming. I've been thinking about what you said, and I've decided to go home. That'll probably be the best excuse I've heard all day. What changed your mind? I want to go back and do the service. I made a commitment I have to keep. What about Alistair? Well, I'll have to face him someday. He was so sure I was going to pull out. Prove him wrong, eh? Yeah. But I'm not doing it just for that. No, you're doing it for yourself. Mm. And that's what's important. Your family will be relieved to have you back. Still in love? Oh, uh... I'm sorry, uh, I didn't mean to wake you. No, it's OK. I was uh, just dozing. What time is it? 10.30. I thought you were going to get some rest. Oh, I couldn't sit there. Has a doctor been around yet? No, he don't start his rounds till after 11. I sat here for ages watching him sleep. After a while, I became paranoid he wasn't ever going to wake up again. But he'd slipped in some sort of coma. It's only natural. I poked him in the end, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> know what he did? Mm -mm. He grunted, shifted over, and went back to sleep again. <laughs> well, that's a sure sign that he's getting better. Sue, Ted Hills. Yeah, I know you said you'd call, but I just wanted to tell you I'm at the house. I'm not opening up today. Don't patronise me. Don't you think I've been trying to keep myself busy? Yeah, well, I just wanted to make sure you told Alistair to call if he hears anything. Right. The Lord has risen. Happy Easter. The Lord has risen. Happy Easter. Christ has triumphed over death. You are? Happy Easter. Oh, right, yeah, Happy Easter, yeah. Well, for Christian Fellowship, we're, we're having a service of praise and thanksgiving for Easter. Perhaps you'd like to come along. I'm sorry, we're Hindu, not Christian. The door to Christ is always open. 5.30 in the community centre. Right. Sir, away! But of course I tried, Alistair. Uh... Hello, Dad. Tony, she's here. Oh. <laughs> Is he really okay? Well, we'll have to keep monitoring him closely for a while, but he's certainly on the mend, Mrs. Jackson. Thank God. Listen, love, um, I'm going to pop home for an hour to get changed in. Alan's going to stay with you. Do you want anything? No, unless they let you bring well on. I don't think so, somehow. Why don't you both go? I'll be all right. No, it's OK, son. I don't mind. I'd like to stay. All right. I'll see you later, then. Sarah's back. Will you let me know? What? Well, none of this is our fault. Please, Mum. She wasn't to know this was going to happen.
You can get arrested for that, you know? Hey, Lord, you're in. No, I'm not. I'm just I'm waiting for Sarah. She's back. I'm really worried about her. I'm sure it'll all get sorted out soon. Well, you don't understand. See, she doesn't know about Robbie yet. Listen, Joe, uh, I know you're fond of Sarah, but you've got to let her sort this out with her dad. It's really a family thing. Perhaps you're right. Look, how about I get you some chips? I bet you die up. What about it? <laughs> I put the kettle on, lad. Make you a cup of tea when you're ready. Is she okay? Where is she? In the kitchen? No, she's in the bath. A bath? Well, what's she said? Where's she been? Look, let's go through the kitchen, shall we? Dad, what is going on? Nothing. Everything's fine. What do you mean everything's fine? From where I'm standing, it's far from that. Keep it down, son. Well, what she said? Well, she apologised for running off. She uh, said she was having a crisis, wanting some time alone. Well, we knew that much. What you told her, Dad? Nothing. I haven't told her anything. Dad! I promise I will. I just don't want to rush her. What is this? We need to know what happened with Robbie. She needs to know about... Do you want her to find out from someone else? No, that's not going to happen. I'll tell her when I'm good and ready. Son, she's been through a horrific ordeal. OK, OK, it's just so frustrating. Do you think she's going to be OK? She's a bit shaken, but that's to be expected. Look, everything's going to be fine. Why don't you come back in an hour or so? But I need We'll to... all have some lunch together. She obviously felt she couldn't talk to me before. Look what's happened. Give us a chance. A bit of time alone. OK, I'll come back at one. Good lad. Oh, thanks, darling. It's lovely. Look at this thing. No, don't thank me. Thank my supplier. Look, I'm afraid I'm going to have to skip lunch. Like I've got a meeting. Oh, Ian. I was wondering if you... Yeah. I have Lucy for you. Of course we will. Yeah, well, thanks, Mum. Look, I shouldn't be more than a couple of hours at the most. Um, her stuff's here and... I... Oh, and I've got your these as well. Pretty good, eh? Not a bad vintage. Ian! What? Oh, Phil, look, I'm really sorry. It, it slipped me mind. Uh, don't worry about it. It's uh, easy mistakes, mate. I'll get it. I'm sorry, love. I didn't mean to jump down your throat, but it, it's still not easy for him. And the last thing he needs is having that waved under his nose. Mum, I'm really sorry. I just didn't think. Come here. Ian, are you all right? Oh. I know today can't be easy for you. Is that why you're going to work? <sighs> no, it's, it's not that. But it's, it's an important client. Really? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I miss the boys desperately, Mum, but... I mean, something's I can go a couple of hours now without thinking about it all. Well, that's good. It's important that you move on. Yeah. Sarah's back. Oh. Well, have you seen her? Is she okay? Do you know what no. happened? No, not yet. I've just been over. Dad wants a chance to talk to her. Right, well, I'll go straight away. I'll get No, my... I think we should wait. Give her some time. Well, no offence, Tony, but it, it may be difficult to talk to your dad. It might be easier if I'm there. He does seem to me making progress, though. Give him a chance, eh, Kath? He's got a lot to explain. He's right. Look, I'm going back in an hour. We're going to have lunch together. If things aren't going too well, I'll give you a call, yeah? You promise? I promise. All right? OK. Uh, Tony, I think you've got more use for these than we have. Oh, cheers, Ian. Thanks. I'm just trying to get hold of someone, that's all. Anyone important? My solicitor. You're a fool, Grant. You're going to regret this, just like last time. Last time was different. Was it? Wives aren't like car, son. You're not supposed to trade them in every few years. Yeah, well, sit yourself down. Bet you feel better after that, eh? Mm. Tony came round. He's, uh, he's going to pop back later. I said we'd have a spot of lunch together. I can't. I've got to go out soon. We can't go out. We need to talk. You'll have got these to service to do. You know that. Yeah, but given the circumstances, I'm sure Alistair won't mind stepping in for you. Well, I'm sure he won't. But this is important to me. And you know how long I'll be preparing for it. But we've got things to discuss. At least tell me where you've been. The last couple of nights, I slept in a hostel. And before that? Sarah? I slept rough. Oh. Look, I was OK. I met a girl and... Well, she took me to look out for myself. Yeah, but I should have been looking out for you. If we'd have talked this through, none of this would have happened. We wouldn't have been in this mess. 
What mess? You don't have to hang around, you know. What are you talking about? I mean, it's great you're here. You've been brilliant since all this happened, but... What? Well, I just don't think it's fair, Mum. If you're gonna push off again, I'll feel better. Robbie, uh, that stuff with Frank, it's over. I mean it. Look, I can't pretend it never happened. I wish I could. Why did it happen? I don't know. I was your age when I moved in with your mum. She had three kids. It was a huge responsibility. A bit scary, really. Never really thought about it like that. My age. You must have really loved her. I did. Still do. Why did you leave? So I wouldn't have to face the problems between me and your mum. Maybe it was the easy option. It's weird, isn't it? You kind of get taken over. What do you mean? Like you were saying, it all seems so easy. If you don't stop, think about what's going to happen after. Robbie, it takes two. You should try and talk to Mum. Why don't you go and see her now? I'm not sure it's such a good idea. Both of you got into this mess. I need both of you to sort it out. No, I don't want to leave you on your own. In any way. Maybe she don't want to discuss it. I'll be fine. I want to get some sleep. Probably won't even notice you've gone. Are you sure? Robbie. DS Barnes and DC Collis would like to ask you a few questions. Do you feel OK? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to stay. No, go! Please, Alan. I want to do this on my own. No, Dad, let her go! I can't, not like this. Not leave her. What good will he do? Sarah. Sarah! Dad, come back here. No, no, no. She'll be talk back. To her. Come on. She'll be all right. Yeah? What are you looking at? I didn't think you'd ever want to come back in here again after the way Ma Mitchell treated you. Oh, you know what she's like? She has to have something to gossip about. So, thank God your mum ain't like that, because I don't think I could handle another mother-in-law for a meal. No, Mum's all right. Do you know, I think her and Alan have sort themselves out. Yeah? I mean, wouldn't it be funny if this was what brought them back together again? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, usual, Peggy. Yeah, Sarah's back. Yeah, Lorraine mentioned it. Apparently, she's been in her dad's all morning. No one's seen I'd know her ever. Let's hope they sort themselves out, yeah. yeah? Well, it didn't look too good from where we were standing. Yeah, she came charging out of the house, right? And then a moment later, Ted came flying through the door, shouting after her. <gasps> yeah, he was yeah. in the right state. Oh, that poor man. Oh, I hope everything's OK. Yeah, well, at least you won't have to face Robbie. Not for a while, anyway. So if you sort out the cars with Barry, that just leaves the reception. I've cancelled the hotel. I told him you got run over. <laughs> I don't believe you sometimes. So where are we going to have it? Community centre? You're joking, aren't you? The community centre? Ricky, you're not serious. That place is dead. It's freezing cold and stinks of smelly kids. You know, we need it somewhere a bit more lively, a pub or something. Well, why don't we have it in here? Do you think that's such a good idea? Well, why not? You know, all we've got to do is get a few bottles of bubbly and some food. We can talk to her in later. Yeah, but it's just all this stuff with you and Robbie. The way you've been treated, it don't seem right. Look, we ain't done nothing wrong. Me or Robbie. You know, and this will be our way of showing them we've got nothing to hide. Right, Hello, Mum. Come sit down. Ricky, get you a drink. Yeah, which one? Just a half, please, Ricky, thanks. Right. <sighs> Look, we've picked where we're going to go for honeymoon, so that just leaves the reception, but Ricky reckons we should have it in here. Yeah, whatever you think best, love. I mean, we've got nothing to hide, have we? Yeah, we'll show them. Be the best party around here in ages. Yeah. Mum, will you just relax? Oh, I'm sorry, love. I just don't want to leave Alan on his own for too long. Right. I want to be absolutely clear about this. You OK? You're not too tired? I'm all right. So, Mr Edward Hills forced open the front door. And what happened next? He was so angry. He just kept shouting. What was he saying? I don't know. But I was scared. 
really scared. So I started to run up the stairs. And I kept shouting for Alan, but no one was there. I thought he was going to kill me. I know this is difficult for you, Robbie, but we're just trying to piece things together. Should we go through it once again? No, look, everything will be fine. We've been through it a hundred times already. You sure? Yes. He's oh, right, love. It's going to be great. Yeah. We get back to the hospital. All right, give Robbie my love. Oh, yeah, see you later. Tell, Tell her. What's Alan doing, Bert? And this supposed to be with Robbie. They're going to have a big row, I know it. What do you mean the police are with him? What the hell are you doing here, then? Look, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. You just left my son on his own. The boy's petrified. It was his decision. So? Carol, the boy's 18. He decided he wanted to handle this on his own. I respected his decision. I just hate the idea of him going through this alone. Look, let's go back to the house. Just give him a bit of time, eh? We can go back up in a bit and take Sonia and Billy. So, you took the pizza round and then what? What really happened? When I got there, she was pretty upset. Why was that? I don't know. She wouldn't talk about it. What did you do? Robbie, you suffered a serious assault. There's no doubt in that. But before we can take any action, we have to know all the details. I hate to see her like that. I really care about her, you know? So I tried to comfort her. She kissed me. And before I knew it, we were... We were... I never raped her, you know? I didn't. I swear it. what we did. But why did you run off? I don't really know. It wasn't just us. It was loads of things. Robbie, it wasn't your fault. But that's not what everyone else thinks. But how? How do they know? Your friend Alistair. Couldn't wait to give your dad the news. What, that I'd slept with you? Do you think I'd look like this if that's what he said? Oh, I'm so sorry. Sarah, where are you going? Has it occurred to you that she could be telling the truth? No. She's protecting him, that's all. But why? Why would she even think of doing that? Oh, come on. It's his Christianity bit. Forgiving, turning the other cheek. Ted, if you've been raped, there's no way, no way on earth that you can forgive. Believe me. I think you've got to face up to it. Sarah is a young woman. She's very attractive. And she's no different from the rest of us. No! You don't run away. You don't spend the best part of a week with a bunch of down and outs just because... just because you've been to bed with someone. You saw her that night, Cathy. You saw what sort of state she was in. Yes, I know, and I thought the same as you, but now... Dad, I think Kath's right. There's no way Sarah's lying. She ran away because it was her way of dealing with it. No, you're wrong. You're both wrong. I'm telling you, that Jackson kid raped my daughter. He's the scum of the earth. Sarah! I didn't... Uh, we weren't expecting to see you. No. Well, I don't suppose you were. But I said I'd do this service and I don't want to let everyone down. Oh, no, don't worry about that. Your dad's been frantic. It's important for you to go home and be with him. Done our talking. And I'm ready to do this now. Huh? 